Well, good morning and welcome to the 2021 National Honor Society induction ceremony. Please keep your microphone muted and your camera off unless asked to unmute. At this time, we would like all attendees to unmute in order to recite the pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag, to the flag. We are gathered here to formally recognize those students who have been selected by the faculty of our school for successfully completing their candidacy and are being inducted as new members for National Honor Society chapter. For current members and those former members who may be among our guests, we hope this will serve to remind you of the standards of excellence you two are charged with maintaining as members of the nation's oldest, largest, and most prestigious student recognition program. Our chapter is proud to have been inducting new members since 1965, and with today's ceremony indicates the continuing emphasis on excellence we represent for our school and community. Throughout the year, members of our chapter serve as role models for other students. In addition to the strong academic records which established our eligibility for membership, our chapter members are leaders in many student organizations, and we serve our school and community through many activities. We are proud of this record of accomplishment and welcome these new members who bring new energy in support of our continuing work as NHS members. It is at this time that we proclaim to all in attendance the membership in the Lansdowne High School chapter of the National Honor Society has been earned by the illustration of the four qualities that serve as standards for the society. Members of the chapter will now review these qualities to the candidates. We begin with scholarship. All right, it says scholarship means commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended, for human education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one of the great elements in life, which leads to the highest success, and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past, the torch guiding us to understand the present, and the light that illuminates the future. Candidates have the charge to continually expand their word, world through opportunities inherent in scholarship. Um, my office is service. Service can be established in the routine of a day's work where many opportunities arise to help others both at school and in the community. A willingness to work for the benefit of those without momentarily compensation or public recognition is the quality we seek in our membership and promote for the entire student body. We are committed to volunteering our time and talents to the creation of a better tomorrow. Character is the force within the individual that distinguishes each person from others. It creates for each of us our individuality, our goodness. It is that without which no one can respect oneself, nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is this force of character that guides one through life and once developed both steadily within. Character is achieved and not received. It is the part of constant thought and action and the daily striving to make the right choice. The problem of character is the problem of self-control. We must be in reality what we wish to appear for to others, to be rather than to do seem. By demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we may hope to prove by example that we value character. And lastly, we have Anne with leadership. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school. In taking initiative in the classroom and in school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to reach the common goals of success. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to use one's personal interests for the interests of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resource may exist in a school, community, or nation, they're ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed, thus to lead them is a meaningful and substantive charge to each of our members. Thank you. At this time, will the new inductees, along with current members, please unmute their microphones and repeat after me in reciting the pledge. I pledge myself to uphold. 
I pledge myself to the high purposes of the National Honor Society to which I've been selected. I'll be sure to the principles for which it stands. I will be loyal to my school. I will be loyal to my school. And will maintain and encourage. And will maintain and encourage. High standards of scholarship, leadership, and And now, please welcome our principal, Mr. Miller, who will officially recognize our new members and offer con congratulatory remarks. Hello everyone and congratulations. I just wanna say a few things and then I will read the name of everyone uh, who has been inducted into this amazing organization. Uh, if you took a look at, if you take a look at those four, I'll call them pillars that the National Honor Society uh, foundation is built upon. We've witnessed how important they are just in recent events, you know, character, leadership, service, scholarship, all of those are high qualities that everyday leaders that, that we need to make this world a better place. So please just don't look at these four items as something as connected only to the National Honor Society. Please take these characteristics forward in whatever path you choose in life. Add them to your everyday events, to your big planning. You'll be a better person for it and you'll make our community better as well. So congratulations, great job. It, it just really shows the hard work and dedication that you have for yourself as, as you went through these uh, three years or four years and it lands down and continue them please as you move on. So congratulations. So now it's my honor to, normally I would read your name and you would come up and I'd shake your hand and give you a certificate. Um, but unfortunately we're not able to do that right now. But it is my honor to read each of your names. And if I mispronounce them, I do deeply apologize. Okay? So, congratulations. Abina Anna, congratulations. Abigail Klontz. Arlie Patricio. Bailey Pruitt. Carlise Black. Danny Lynn Barklow. Destiny Davis, Davies, Dominique Zebulon, Gloria Obudandiki, Jessica Anonye, Kaylin Kearns, Carly Francis, Kandene Agogan, Kia Washington, Kylie Newton, Lacey Kelly, Makane Omuja, Mackenzie Nemec, Nang Sung, Nicholas Bentley, Nunu. Esther Okamafei, Olivia Ludolf, Olubasole Awabukan, Dani Giwa, 
Oluwade Mari Lada Omalade and Sarah Nagar. Congratulations to all of you. Congratulations, mom, dads, grandparents, aunt and uncles, because all of you have had a hand in this as well. So please move forward with these four items, like I said, and make this world a better place. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Miller. Please join me in congratulating our new members by unmuting, unmute, sorry, unmuting your microphones and give them a round of applause. Awesome, thank you. I'd also like to thank our advisors, Ms. Curtis and Ms. Bandict, and members of the National Honor Society Faculty Council for their hard work in organizing this year's induction. Now, thank you all for in attending our NHS induction ceremony. I hope you have a wonderful day. Okay, um, I'm just gonna say a couple more things. First, congratulations to all the new members. Um, and these are kind of our next steps for you to watch out for. So you will be added to our Schoology group. Right now, the group that you are in is um, like a, a joining group. It says want to join National Honor Society, um, but you'll be moved over into like the official National Honor Society Schoology group. Um, and I would like you to watch that for any updates or um, information that may come. I usually try to send everything out as an update in the group as well as a school-wide, I mean, not a school-wide, a group-wide message that would come to your inbox. So I try to do both whenever something's um, important, but make sure that you watch both of those places. Um, and our next or our first service project is going to be that we're going to be making Valentine's for um, hospital patients. So um, that meeting will come in February and just keep an eye out for it in your inbox. And we will also be looking for um, some members. We have some vacant uh, leadership positions. So if you are a person who feels like you are a good leader, then you can definitely consider running for one of those positions. And all of that will happen in early February so that we can get those Valentine's to hospital patients on time by February 14th. So if you have questions or you need any information, um, you can definitely stick around and ask them. Otherwise, thank you so much for coming. Um, and I will see you guys at our first meeting. <laughs>